I never felt so calm in my life as after that first round when the crowd thought I was hurt. I wasn't. And Saul knew I wasn't, and Speciali knew I wasn't too. I wasn't near so tired as him, sitting across from him with my head thrown back, listening at him, giving me the line about roughing him against the ropes and getting the old eye, uh, thumb in the eye and the heel of the glove across his teeth coming out of the clinch. I opened my eyes at the warning buzzer and stood up too soon just to show how fresh I was. And Saul took off the stool and I looked straight up to get the bends out of my neck and way up there in the rafters, up there in the great dark with but one small light shining on it and small flags flying about it, a sign said, park as long as you like in a lot of your own. And all the little flags waved a little, like there was a breeze up there. You couldn't even feel down where me and Speciali was. Then the lights, lights were shining on hot on my back, and Speciali was throwing that overhead right, mixing low lefts at my short ribs, and I knocked him down with one I slung from the fourth row flush into his gut. When he got up, I knocked him down with two straight lefts into his teeth. He spat out his mouthpiece at six, his front teeth was come too loose to gulp it well, and he came up at nine. The boo-boo birds in the back of the park, the iron-throated lads, began yelling, I should finish him while I was able. I could not. He was too fast to find, and tis still too strong. He went into his shell and stayed there, and I threw what I had, but it wasn't enough. Beside, I wanted to get back to the corner to take another look at the sign with the little light on it, and the small, cool breeze going past. It had to do with the thing I always wanted. I needed to see it once more.